this green thing, so blackberries. And they're everywhere. All this is basically all blackberries. Some over here. Let me show you a little bit of the garden. Um, the corn is doing pretty good. Some are smaller, some other ones are taller. Let me show you. We are starting to form this oh, corn husks here. You see there? This right here. That right there. There's another one right there. And those are going to be corn. Or they are. But they're tiny. Look at this one. So pretty. You see it opening? Over there. Let me see. Over here. Kind of come from in between the stem and the leaf. That's what it looks like. This is still my sage. It was suffering a little bit because of the heat. So you can see the leaves are curled. But like this one. But still doing good. This right here is, is time. Smells wonderful, but it is going to flower as you can see. So it's time to start harvesting some and maybe putting into a pot some more so I can keep it inside. And then right here is my one yellow onion that survived and it's growing pretty good. This is from seed and not sets. Right here. This is a Roma tomato plant that I grew from seed. And it is coming. This one, if you remember, was being eaten by, I assume deer, could be elk. But I don't know if you can see right there, look how many jalapenos are gonna be growing. Let me focus it. Can you see it here? All this little flower looking things. It's that. And this is a California pepper, which is a green pepper. And right there in the middle, you can see the little <laughs> bell peppers that are gonna be growing. And there's quite a few. For such a puny plant and those these two peppers I got them uh, studs. Moving on to here this is a humongous cage I got from a friend and these are tomatoes and this is the variety early girl and they are specifically developed for shorter hot seasons or grow seasons. Look how many right here. And there's more flowers up there. But these ones are the biggest ones in this plant. Then we'll move on to, and these are all starts that I got, these three tomato plants. I didn't grow them from seed, so I kept the little tag to remember. This is the, let's see, Willamette. And again, it was this developed by OSU here in Oregon to kind of give a chance to grow in a shorter season. I think in the back it says that it's supposed to mature in 60 days. 
and then this very last one that again I got as a start is a Roma tomato plant and as you can see there are some Roma tomatoes here there's some smaller ones there and some tiny ones here and then some flowers it's going to take some time to mature, but last year I didn't plant any Roma tomatoes and I regretted it. So this year I hope to get as many as I can. Again, that one in the back I started from seed and you can tell the difference. That from seed and this one that was basically started in a greenhouse in a nursery, it's way bigger. And they're all in bigger tomato cages because the deer won't eat inside the tomato cage for whatever reason. But if I remove them, they start eating them. And that's why I put the tomato cage on that tiny plant. Because it seems like it deters them for whatever reason. But as long as it works, um, and I haven't finished the fence, so that's what we're gonna have to do. This is a cucumber plant. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's not huge. I went to a friend's house yesterday and she got a, her start from a nursery and it's way bigger. But you can see right here. These are some baby ones. This one too. This one too. And then there's this bigger one. I want to say that this is a pickling cucumber. I have to go back in the videos because I forgot to write it down but they are everywhere so you can see it right there, more flowers and then back there I have my carrot tops the deer keeps coming and taking the tops see they were like this and super tall and now they're missing because that's either elk or deer. But let's move on to this one. This one I'm pretty sure it's a squash. Is it banana squash I think or baby banana squash? And I think so because of this. I've never um, seen anything like this in my garden before and I've done different varieties of cucumber it does look like a cucumber plant but it's a squash um, and although they're from the same family this is some kind of a, I think it's a baby banana squash and look at this it looks like flowers so I'm hoping I still have enough time to get some for soups in the winter and over there there's nothing I tried different things it didn't work so what I'm trying to do is train this to crawl that way instead of outside the bed this other bed has a tomato this is a Roma one I don't know if it's gonna do anything we are almost at the end of July and then I have this two lettuces I'm gonna do a lot more lettuce for the fall so I'm not too worried about not having many in my summer garden but it's definitely something that I need to work for the fall. This other bed has the dill and that over there are beans. Uh, there's some kind of, they look like kidney beans. I think they're called cranberry. But I'm super excited for dill. Look how big it is. Remember it was just like a tiny thing, maybe like this tip and then all of a sudden it's growing it's great for butterflies and bees and you know they're pretty much loved and I need it for canning my cucumbers or to make pickles so I'm happy that it's this one dill plant is growing as you can see it has a bunch of growth everywhere now on the other side of the bed I have beans now I am very hopeful that I will be harvesting beans, as you can see right there, there is a bunch of growth. This one, it keeps 
being eaten by, eaten by the deer. I'll probably would have to find some more cages, like tomato cages, and put them so they're not eaten by whatever's eating them at night. But this one, I'm very hopeful that I will get some beans. Uh, let's see if you can see the center there. There you go. This one is a pickling cucumber that is starting to grow. Once they grow to double the size of this, they start to get huge like within days so I'm not to worry about this I'm sure that it will grow enough so I can harvest some small cucumbers that I can pickle this other bed is another cucumber bed these are my kids favorite cucumber they're the market more if you can see it there let me put it in the sun this is tiny. I mean, they grow way bigger than this. Let me show you this one. I don't know if you can see it. Over the leaves. And that's... And it grows even more than this one too. There's some baby ones over there that are growing like this. There are some other ones. I'll try to separate them. They're grabbing onto each other, but there's another one right here. And there's another one right there. So even though it's a small plant, it has a bunch of cucumbers that I'm gonna let go for a little bit longer. Here I have all Roma tomatoes. There are six plants. And I'm hoping that they will do good. Um, this all grew from seed. So it got a very late start. But as you can see, it is, I mean, it has flowers. Hopefully it will be enough time so they can develop into tomatoes. This is or these are the asparagus and they keep being eaten by deer but they're doing pretty well then this other one are also asparagus doing pretty well and then here I have a surprise visitor which is uh, cauliflower that one is starting to grow. Now look at this one. This is like a purple one. And I'm gonna cover it with the leaves. That's what they told me. When it gets hot, you have to cover them with the leaves. And then all this jungle is kale. That I am just harvesting the tender see the tender leaves, the smaller ones for us and the bigger ones for the goats a street I have one of these pale looking things and I fill it up with kale every day and they eat it as a snack although I read that once they're in milk and you're gonna milk them you should only feed it right after you milk because otherwise it affects the taste of the milk I'm not afraid to